Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. Once you have your image pulled up, the first thing I want you to do is to duplicate the layer. Next, click on the image menu and select desaturate from the adjustments drop down. This will get rid of all the colors from the image. I'm also going to use the curves adjustment layer to increase the contrast a bit. Let's bring it up from the adjustments tab. Using the hand tool, I'm going to hover over the darks in the image and make them darker. Similarly, I'm going to hover over one of the whiter areas and make them lighter. Next, I'm going to right click on the background copy layer and convert it to a smart object. This will allow us to modify the image non-destructively. Also make sure your foreground color is set to black and the background color is set to white. Now click on filter and select filter gallery. From the right menu, select sketch and then click on half tone pattern. I'm going to zoom out in the preview window so I can look at the whole image. From the pattern type dropdown, you can select either circle, dot, or line. I like the dot pattern, so I'm going to go with that. Now you can play around with the size of the dot and the contrast. Play around with the sliders to your liking and then click OK. Next, we're going to add some gradient colors on top of our image. Select the background copy layer and then click on FX and select Gradient Overlay. From the Gradient dropdown, select a gradient color to your liking. You can also play with the blending modes depending on the look you're going for. I'm going to select Multiply here. You can also change the angle, style, scale, and the opacity percentage. Click OK when you're done with your configuration. Finally, let's compare the before and after. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.